Hey loves, welcome back to this channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. Today I am going to share with you another Q&A session. Hi Amy, have you looked into the Lambskin Trendy CC Clutch with Chain? Would love to know your thoughts compared to the round Here's my round clutch with chain and you were asking about the trendy CC, the little square one, the mini one, as well as the classic a mini square. So we won't talk about that one very much because that's like a decent, it's an actual handbag size bag. It's just an actual mini size bag. These ones, however, as well as the one that you were saying, the trendy CC uh, little clutch on chain, these ones are super minis in my opinion. So super minis don't fit a phone. There's no way. Even if it was a bigger phone, I mean, sorry, even if it was a smaller phone, there's no way unless you get one of those like new foldable phones. Between the two, so I own this one. Um, I also own the Trendy CC one for like a day or two, I think. I, I owned it for like a brief moment before I sold it to my friend Gina. Hi Gina, if you're watching. Um, so I do encourage you to watch her video. She did an unboxing as well as a uh, review on it. Between the two, um, what are my thoughts? They're just both super minis basically. They fit the very bare essentials. They fit, you know, your lip product, they fit cards, individual cards, they fit your keys, not the six key holder. Like if you have a six key holder or even a four, four key holder, those won't fit. Maybe the four key will fit, but like the six key, eh, it's, a, it's a stretch, you know, your AirPods will fit. Like anything small, like anything that is like, you know, not too wide, not too protruding the season that i got mine from is the newer one they have a little bit more depth these ones will fit a camera actually because the camera is just short enough to fit in it but aside from that like i said it's really just bare essentials it's literally a bag that you will get for novelty purpose or in my case i love using it for movie nights like literally on days that you don't have to bring anything technically but you just want to have some things like your id maybe your keys maybe your airpods those type of things like hair ties makeup items lip balm just those days that these super mini bags are useful because they're otherwise a useless item a lot of people will not find them useful a lot of people will find them to be a waste of money but they're just super cute and they're just hands-free so what can i say i love it but uh yeah between the two the reason why i decided to sell the trendy is because once i had it in person once i had it in my hands i figured i don't need two super minis and the fact that this one was extra special got it in hawaii actually my husband got it for me so um i couldn't sell this one and um you know because i didn't need to so i decided to just um let go of the trendy because as cute as it is because they were both i mean they're both really cute um i just didn't i couldn't justify owning two super mini bags because they serve exactly the same purpose one is zipper opening the other one is a flap opening with a beautiful uh, cc lock so it really just depends your personal preference uh the other one is lambskin so it's a little bit more delicate but it's so tiny that you don't have to worry about it to be honest this one is caviar and it's um the opening is not super hard but because of the shape this one is a little bit awkward like things do kind of mix up inside a little bit maybe the trendy one because it's square shape it's a little easier to to um you know to fit your things in it but like i said it's so small it doesn't even make that much of a difference to be honest they're almost the same the next question is by joanne laurie um how do you feel about marc jacobs and michael kors bags would you buy them do you consider them luxury bags the only other contemporary brand that i bought from before was coach i was pretty into coach at the time and i really like their quality their craftsmanship 
I still do um, but yeah I wouldn't consider them to be luxury luxury um, they are the, they are contemporary brands though so they are very nice and a lot of times they are actually really well made and are more durable than luxury brands they just appeal to different markets basically it doesn't necessarily mean that they're better quality worse quality and, and whatnot just because they're more expensive doesn't mean that they're more better quality and just because they're cheaper doesn't mean that they're worse quality that type of thing you know what I mean so it just it just means that they appeal to a different market some people love the fact that they are luxury luxury brands and some people love the fact that they are affordable and still a really nicely made contemporary brand item so personally I've never bought into those two brands but I have bought a lot of coach in the past as well as a lot of boutique brands that are not super mainstream but they are boutique brands um, so yeah i i do like them i don't buy them as much anymore just because um i used to be heavily into them at the time because that's all i could afford but now that i'm more into the luxury brands i'm i'm definitely you know like i guess i'm more into this market now not to say that i don't will ever not buy contemporary brands i still do uh they're they make great gifts as well and plus like a lot of their stuff like i said are still really well made and sometimes they're more functional than luxury brands let's give you an example my mom she's uh, never been into luxury brands she wouldn't even know about them if i don't talk to her about it and even if I offered to give her any of my luxury items, she would not take them. I can force her to take it. She will probably take it, but it will literally stay in her closet, never used. So it's just it's just a personal style, a personal preference, and a personal, um, I guess, your personal comfort level, I guess. Her comfort level is that she loves something that is not super expensive, that she can throw around, that she doesn't have to worry about damaging she doesn't like to be known to have something really really expensive on her i guess like i don't know i'm trying to read her mind but you, you see where i'm coming from like it's just different personality different uh getting used to uh, i don't want to say upbringing because i was brought up by her but like i i definitely curated my own taste over time and i definitely have an affinity to like nice things and i love dressing up and styling and this and that so we have totally different interests and i totally have different values in terms of like these kind of things so so yeah i have not bought from these two specific brands but i have nothing against them i love them um personally i love coach a lot i would still buy a lot of coach um especially for gifting i think they make excellent gifts the next question is by min wang would you consider buying an hermes lindy i would except that i'm not super interested in yet i you know every time i see something that i don't have on someone else especially if it's a friend that i know it obviously will pique my interest i would be wondering oh would that be good for me would i like it so i have a couple friends who have the lindy and it looks great on them um i it starts me it starts the wheel inside my head you know it starts the thinking but um I'm not actively pursuing it, let's just say, uh, and um, I, I like the look of it, especially on my friends, but at the very moment, I, like I said, I thought about it, but I'm not going to actively pursue it, not yet, anyway. Uh, it's just, you know, one of those things where I, I see it often, I, I like it, and um, I just don't want to put my foot in, into the Hermes realm realm of things yet yeah, because i know that it's a slippery slope once you get into it you probably is it's probably very hard to get out of and plus it's uber expensive so i'm not quite there yet but i love it i do like it a lot the next question is by karen ferrera uh is the chanel bucket bag as heavy as the 19 which one do you prefer as i said the bucket bags are seasonal so you might not necessarily find the exact same one that I have in the more current seasons but the bucket bag that I have is super light uh, compared to the 19, the 19 is a lot heavier 
it's not to the point where it's unbearable like i said it's still a little bit lighter than my jumbo single flap but between the two hands down the bucket bag is lighter the next question is by lucius hi amy do you know if purchasing a patent leather mini bag will be an investment i'm curious as to what the resale value will be like versus going with caviar and lambskin. I feel like buying a handbag is not really an investment per se. And we say that a lot in the luxury community because we talk about resale value as a function of how much in demand a certain style is or even color. So, you know, we talk about investment in that sense because, um, I guess a lot of us change our minds and a lot of us buy just in fear of missing out and at the same time once you get it there's no going back so the only the only way for you to sort of not go back but to to sort of remedy the situation is by selling it and then getting another thing but the reality is that handbags are not really an investment i think unless you buy into the hermes constance or birkin or like um the kelly even those ones if you keep them in great to pristine condition then they are possibly an investment because you can get a lot of money back by reselling it chanel is not too bad just because they are very sought after and a lot of people really covet them so if you do change your mind it is relatively easy to sell them and to recuperate your money if not make money even but it really just depends on how you deal with it because the transaction alone um, the fact that you are trying to sell something alone all the time that you put towards selling something and um, you know communicating as well as packaging transit time all that stuff is time basically time spent on on selling that item so are you really making money off of all that time that you spent selling i'm not sure but of course you can recuperate a lot of the money especially with chanel lv is not too bad Hermes is obviously one of the best ones especially if you go with the top three bags that are the most coveted because they're so difficult if not impossible almost impossible to get so i just want to reiterate the fact that bags are not really an investment but let's just pretend that <laughs> we're talking investment in, in a bag for like, you know, recuperating money, resell value, that type of thing. So in general, a patent leather bag, I feel like it's less desirable just because um, they are a little bit more tricky or different to maintain, especially if you go with a lighter color, they can yellow over time especially if you live in a very warm and humid climate um, heat and moisture as well as sunlight can really affect the leather and change the leather color over time especially if it's a light color if you go with black then that's not an issue what you carry in addition to your bag and also when you store it to make sure you don't imprint magazines on it or imprint paper ink on it just because those things stick to patent leather and you cannot get it off so it's just a little bit different in terms of maintenance as well as to a storage with patent leather it's just a little different you always have to be a little bit more careful with storage having said that they can still be really hard wearing as in when you are actively wearing your bag if it's raining you can just wipe it down um if it's a black color you don't have to worry about scuffs and this and that except that if it's a deep scratch then you're literally scratching onto the surface like the plastic surface of the patent leather so be careful of those but if it's just like a very superficial little ding it's usually not super noticeable um it depends it really just depends because i so far i've only owned one patent item and it's from lv so i can't really speak for chanel yet but just in general, I feel like it's just a different way of maintaining your bag. Because I feel like patent leather is just in general a little bit less desirable than caviar. And lambskin is... It's not that it's less desirable, but lambskin has a different market. I feel like Europeans love lambskin. North Americans love caviar. So between the two, it really just depends on where you are. Um, whether the market that you're selling to 
is is coveting those items so yeah i would say that in terms of investment maybe patent leather is not the best but if you're just gonna wear it yourself and you love the look and you just love the bag then just go for it but if you are worried and you just want to buy it for resale value i wouldn't say that it's the best bet the next question is by jessica hi amy i'm looking to buy my first chanel handbag but i'm confused between the gabrielle bag and the chanel classic walk additionally this costs more so i'm just not sure if i would if you would recommend this bag or the walk i can't really show you how the walk looks like but this is the Gabrielle and I have it in the small size and this size is quite deceiving because even though it does look small it actually packs a punch and it's one of my favorites because um, you know aside from how people find it ugly and whatnot it's actually a really functional bag and it's a really comfortable bag comfortable bag the bucket bag and the gabrielle bags are basically my top bags i i really really enjoy using them aesthetically i feel like the gabrielle is just a really nice all-around bag because even though it is a chanel bag it doesn't necessarily scream chanel aside from the little zipper pole here and and the chains but if you don't see the zipper pole then you're really just seeing the the chains functionality wise if it's quite a bit for a small bag this is really a mini size bag in my opinion they do call it the small but it does fit a bit more than your classic minis and there's a bit more height to it which is very useful when you stand up slgs inside um, this one even though it is a zippered opening it really is so easy to get in and out and the zipper is super smooth very easy to close and open um, usually i'm not a fan of zipper bags because i find them so fussy but this zipper on the gabrielle is never it's 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 never been more pleasurable to use let's just say usually hobo styles tend to get all mixed up inside but because this one is a structured hobo and the base is very solid it's um it's structured you, it's so easy to organize things like i said standing up things inside this bag is so good and plus now there's a new medium size which if you don't like this mini size or the small size Go for the new medium size that size is so nice and it's like a little bit bigger a little bit taller but it's so universal that size is so beautiful and plus now you get the option of the extra strap if you want to um, buy the version with the extra strap is so pretty you can use it as a top handle plus the walk is not really a bag right in the end it's just a wallet with a chain but if you're someone who likes to carry very minimal amount like even less than i do then i feel like the walk is good for you because between the walk and this the walk is so much better priced again it's subjective i feel like choosing a bag for someone else is always kind of iffy because we're never we're not exactly the same individual right so i can't really choose one for you but i can tell you that my personal preference is that i like the gabrielle a lot more the walk i'm kind of warming up to it a little bit more now that um technology has is different now like the phones nowadays have such great cameras that i don't really need to carry my vlogging camera all the time um i'm way better at downsizing nowadays than years before so i am a little bit more accepting of the walk now the chain is still probably going to be too long but aside from that let's just look at the capacity of the bag alone i feel like the walk is more and more acceptable now more than before before it was never going to be big enough for me but now it is it's hard for me to recommend one for you but if you're looking for a proper handbag size bag i say gabrielle is still the way to go but if you're really someone who doesn't carry much you really really don't carry much and you really like the walk then just go for it because there's nothing wrong with it just because i don't like it doesn't mean that you won't love it right and the last question is by mickey Kademi. Uh, hi Amy, do you still love both your cocoa handles? I'm thinking about getting the white one but nervous about the color. Uh, I love both the white and the black but have lots of blacks already. Would you, if you could do it again, would you still recommend getting the light gray? One more eye candy for you guys. 
for the last question and here is my light gray coco handle from 19p so this was from the pre-collection uh pre-summer pre-spring summer collection 2019 and i absolutely love it this is one um what well, this has made it into my top 10 bags of 2019 for a very good reason you might want to watch it i'll link it up here but um yeah i totally totally would, would do it again i totally recommend the coco handle in a light color i just i feel like the coco handle looks really really good in a really nice vibrant color like any of the pinks yellow light blue um any pastel colors really and of course gray like a light gray like this or even white like the pearlescent white that they had i think it was 19k or 19 mm, i forgot it could have been 20c i forget but there was a pearlescent uh chevron um white color that came out it was so pretty i totally do recommend it because i love 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 this bag um mainly because of the color there's actually two is it two bags yeah i have two bags that i got mainly because of the color so this being one of them my um mini rectangle in the raspberry red color that one i love because of the raspberry red color um if it was not because of the color i wouldn't have gotten it so same with this one i love this one simply because of the color but also i do love this style too so there is that and plus i love that this one is the champagne gold uh hardware which is different from their usual um aged gold which is so different so i do recommend it that's the thing though if you already have a lot of black bags then you're gonna be wearing your black bags most of the time right you're only gonna pull out your colored bags or your white color bag on occasion right so when you're only wearing it on occasion then you're gonna be a little bit more careful and you're gonna be just a little bit more mindful in general right so i assuming i assume that it would be the case so i don't think that you have to worry about it too much unless you want to buy it like like a white bag and wear it every day then of course i would be worried too um i wouldn't really wear this on a regular basis just because like you said it is a white like almost white color bag and color transfer will eventually happen if you if you treat it as an everyday bag especially depending on what you wear if it's raining if it's raining and your pants or your clothes are wet and it's a pretty saturated color it will rub off on it so yeah i it's definitely something that you have to be mindful about is it, when you go for really light color bags uh certain leathers may be more durable than others but you still have to be careful right uh, accidents do happen and you can't prevent all kinds of accidents but in general if you are a careful person then i think that you would be okay and like i said i do totally recommend it because it's so beautiful this is one of my favorite bags because it's so beautiful and i love wearing it in the summer by the way, I do use a light color dust bags and I feel like Chanel should just give a light color like a white dust bag instead of a black dust bag for such a light color bag. So I just ended up using my Fendi one because I don't want to put this in a black dust bag. I don't know if over time it will just rub off on it. Like I said, anything is possible. Maybe some of you might want to like um, change up your dust bags as well if you have a very light colored bag um, but yeah so far so good I love it no color transfer for me yet so those were all the questions that you had thank you all so much for asking them if you've enjoyed this video and you have not subscribed yet I urge you to consider subscribing uh, liking this video and commenting down below to let me know for the rest of you, have a great day and week ahead of you and I shall talk to you again very soon. Bye!